this video you will write the smart contract for oil and gas industry so let's write the contract very quickly so we have to provide the license identifier we have to take the salty version which is 8.0 now we have to define the contract and we call it oil and gas and we have to define a couple of state variables so let's take it quickly so the first one is the address of the contract owner now we have to keep the track of the oil well and it will have a lot of information so in that we have to keep the track of the name that what is the name of that well we have to keep the address of the operator unt production so these are the information we are taking about the well you can keep a lot of information okay but i just want to show you that how you can write the smart contract for this particular industry and how you can structure okay so that's our struct and now we have to create a mapping and we have to map the data with a string okay because every single well will have a unique name and that's how we are mapping so this is our mapping now we have to initialize this event create and in that we are passing all of this data so you can easily able to identify the data if you really want to retrieve the data from the blockchains then in that scenario this event will help you a lot and it's the cheapest way to store data on the blockchain so we have assigned this index to this so we can identify based on the string the whale name and we have also taken this index and we can easily able to fetch the information based on the operator okay one thing you have to keep in mind that you can only pass three index in the event not more than that so that's our event let's take one more event which is a production chain well name and we have the index for the production so these are the two events we have now we have to simply define our constructor so it's gonna be empty and that we have to simply update the owner of the contract now we have to write the first function which is called create oil whale obviously we need to have a function to register a new oil uh, oil whale okay and that we have to pass the well name and we have to simply update all of the data okay so we have to do we have to take the whale and we have to simply do the update okay it's a struct and we are information in and we are updating all the information like whale name address and the production initially is to zero that looks fine now we have to initialize this event i mean and you might be thinking that why i have taken this zero because again i'm telling you that i'm just building this structure of the smart contract you can optimize the smart contracts depends the kind of information you want to store in the contract okay so you can store you can take a lot of data from the user about this particular whale but we are the for the simplicity we are going with this approach and that's the create oil whale function we have now let's come here we have to create one more function which is called change operation operator and that we have to pass all of this data name new operators and we have to do the check that the owner can only be the sender okay so only can honor call this function and here we have to simply update the data and we have to simply pass all the information hope this makes sense to all of you guys so this is the second function we have in the contract let's write the third function and that we have to take this update production we have to take the whale name and we have to take the production so these are the two information we are taking in the contract and here we have to do the check that and here we have to do the check that the message dot sender is equal to the operator if that's true then we want to execute the function otherwise we have to throw this error message so that's the one function now we have to simply update the data and then we have to simply pass the production and once we pass the production we have to simply change provide this event which we have taken that production change and that we have to pass the information so hope this things make sense we are building the layout of the smart contract okay so this is the third function we have now let's come here we have to take on one more function which called check whale in that we have to pass the name of the whale and it will give us the information about the whale and we want to return the name and the production okay so let's return all of the data so name we have to return the operator and we have to return the production so these are the data we are returning from this function i hope this entire contract makes sense it's pretty simple but you can take this contract to the next level you can add multiple functionality right now just build the functionality you can take data you can do certain certain functionality based on the existing contract okay all you have to do is to change the variable and the data you want to store and you can utilize it in your real world project this is the entire smart contract for oil and gas industry so we have our owner we have our state variables we have the mapping we have this two event this is the constructor we have this is the first function for create will change operator 
update productions and check will so this is pretty simple let's deploy the contract and let's have a look so this is the contract we are deploying click on this dip transaction went through and here you will have the instant of the contract so you'll open it if you click here you will get the honor and here you have to pass the whale so let's see where it's coming from so here we have the mapping if you pass the name of the whale you will have the data of that but we have to create a whale so to create that all we have to do is to call this function so this is the function we have create oil whale and that's what we're going to call it open this one and that we have to pass the name so we have to pass let's say dollar and if i make a transaction the transaction went through and if i pass the same name i can easily able to get the information about this particular whale so this is the information this is the address and this is the production capacity and this is the production capacity for this particular whale which is initially set to zero you have option that you can simply take a variable that what is the capacity for that particular whale and you can update it but we have this function which allow you to update this so that's a pretty simple one so it's also working fine now let's check this function so this is the function we have called change operator so which one we have is this one this is the function we have in that we have to fill out all of these data so we have to pull out the name and we have to pass the address of the new operator and the best part of this function is that that only owner the one who's created the whale can allow so if i come here um this is the first account i can simply take that one and i will go back to the the first account and here i'm going to assign the new operator to my account number two if i make the call here you can see the transaction went through and if i come here the transaction went through and now i have the permission to update and check the data okay so if i call this one this is the check will we have if i pass the name in that let's say dollar and if i click on this everything is working fine so you can see everything is working fine if you want to update like this is the function we have for change operator we have already used this is the function we have for update production so here we have the function and that we have to pass the name so i'll pass dollar and here we have to pass the amount of the production we want to increase so i'll go with five <clears throat> if i five i make a call transaction the transaction failed because right now i'm calling this function with the account number one but right now the owner of this whale is account number two so if i want to really provide that i have to switch my account so here i've come to my second account and now if i make a transaction the transaction went through because the second address is the account so this is how you can write the smart contract for oil and gas industry there is tons of things which you can include a lot of information you can take okay so i hope you guys have got the general idea that what are the function a smart contract need to have if it's dealing in the oil and gas industry okay so hope you guys have liked this video you can utilize this contract to build any one of your project in web3 space so you can take more data about the particular whale you can connect with the front end and you can design a beautiful front end where you can store the information where you allow user to register information about their whale okay so this is going to be a good project for you if you really want to start with this web3 development okay so with that i'm ending this video is to if you have still any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to cover that with that have a wonderful day